Good morning. Say good morning, Mushy. So we're in my car. Yes, my car. Uh, lot cleaner. And we just picked up some lawn furniture or patio furniture for mom and dad. Mushy's like, what's all this stuff in the back? So I have to, there I am. I have to go pick up a script on the way home and maybe a little Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Do you want a little sausage? Watch what happens when I say chicken. Chicken? Nothing? Wow, you have some poker face. So only four of the six would fit in here, so Dad's gonna drop by. The other two that's in his car, they're gonna be out and about later. And we'll pick up the table on Sunday. Mushki, are you cold, sweetie? Here, I'll turn the heat on. All right, let's go get some Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Coffee, that is. Well, we're back home. Um, I haven't unloaded the car yet because I wanted to come in and enjoy my um, coffee and twice toast a bagel. And the reason I asked for it to be twice toasted because as you could see, there's only a little light color on it and that's twice. And the sausage patty that I got from Oshi and I gave her one piece and she tried to bury it. So I'm gonna hold on to it. I don't wanna give it to the boys because I really got it for her. I'm sure she'll change her mind shortly. So if not, I'll just put it in the fridge. So that costs a dollar, and that's a little treat that I get for her when she's with me when we go to Dunkin' Donuts. So I'm going to enjoy my breakfast and then start planning my day, besides the fact that I already got a couple of things done. Picked up uh, at least part of the furniture. We were able to fit four of the six chairs to fit in my dad's car, and they're going to be running errands later this afternoon in my neck of the woods, so they're just going to swing by and drop them off if I'm in a meeting they're just gonna leave it on the driveway but what I do need to do um, after I eat breakfast is um, unload the car and bring up the garbage can so they can pull in easily I mean we have a big enough dry where that where they could but it's, it'll be easier if I just get it out of the way plus it'll be one less thing that I have to do and it sounds like the girls are talking outside and the chicks are having a conference in the kitchen there's a lot of commotion it's Friday it's rainy it's wet at least it didn't pour while we were loading the car so that's good so um i'll see you later on i'm gearing up to do my wild record crafts project for um this week uh, in a separate video but it's going to be mother uh, mother's day related but i just wanted to share with you guys i'm really loving this little journal I know I've there's always tons of various journals available at Dollar Tree, but I don't know, this one just kind of spoke to me. I don't know if it's because of the purple, silver, and the green that I really love, or the fact that it's just like an, n not an intimidating size, and this one is lined, the other one that has the birds on it is, the pages are blank, which I think I'm going to try, uh-oh, our neighbor's dog got off his leash and he's in our backyard. Good thing the chickens aren't loose. Because they don't know this dog. Uh-oh. Well, they're in their coop, so they should be safe. If anything, he might just be curious, kind of like, what are these things? Anyway, so um, I did decide that I'm going to use this little um, lined paper one to be my little gra gratitude journal. So I'm going to keep it on my nightstand. And right before I go to bed, write something positive about the day. It doesn't have to be long. Like yesterday, I just filled one page. It was quick and easy. It took me like all of two or three minutes. But I think um, the same way you need to sometimes decompress, it's nice to be thankful and to be consciously thankful um, for all the things that we do have, the things that we could take for granted the things that I don't want to take for granted. So that's what I'm gonna use that for. So then I, I'm just pulling out some products to use uh, in my project. And then I was taking a look at Ulta. It just made me think. So hopefully, I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see that. Well, you see the title. Oh, there's my meeting notification. So is there really still a need to call nail polishes, nail lacquers, professional? Is there an amateur division? Or a hobbyist? Just just curious. <laughs> like, is it really necessary to say professional nail color? Uh, is it supposed to um, 
lull us into thinking it's much better quality than um, bottles that don't say professional. Just curious, give me your opinion. Uh, gotta go to the meeting. So the first step is I have picked out three paper colors. The bright pink for my mom, it will match these lovely white and pink center roses. And then uh, the blue one for my sister because that's her favorite color. And then I couldn't leave Amanda out even though she's not a mom, but I'm sure she'll be like, but why didn't I get one? So a little lavender one. So I'm using two of the Tim Holtz alteration strip dies. And this is the mini, let me see, mini paper rosette. There are two, so my sister's is a larger one and Amanda's is a smaller one. And then for my mom's, I'm using the regular rosette. Just says paper rosette. And I'm using cardstock, I think it's 80 pound weight. And my little trick or a tip, and this works out much nicer than anything else that I have tried, and I've tried various things. Because there are perforations, and you need to fold back and forth like peaks and valleys in order to create the rosette, for those of you who haven't made one before or haven't seen one made before, some of these perforations can actually rip through cardstock. So in order to solve that, all I do is use regular office tape and put one strip down the back. And that's enough to prevent that perforation. The other tip is don't try to fold all of these in once at once. Do a few, let go of that, do a few more, let go of that, and then scrunch them all up. And then all you do is you add glue on one side of this and join it into the, so you take the valley or the peak and put it into the valley. And then I think I'm gonna plug in my hot glue gun um, so I can use one of these little centers in white, an offsetting white that will complement the two-tone colors of the roses that I'm using. So I'll show you what the rosette looks like put together. And there are lots of references, including Tim's channel, Tim Holt's channel, how to put these together. So I'll just include a link in the description. Alrighty, so there have been hot glued on and I glued the larger pieces on the back because I'm gonna add a larger diameter white piece of paper to the tops because I wanna have the word mom spelled out. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for Amanda, maybe just a little heart or something. And then let me grab my banner tags and I'm gonna use paper and ribbon uh, to embellish it. So it'll look like one of those, um, you know, pie awards, <laughs> first place, second place, third place, mom, my sister, Amanda. I got so busy working on a project, sneak peek, that I totally forgot to eat lunch and then suddenly I felt like this wave of um, instant hunger. So I grabbed, and this is pretty full, I'm just sharing with you now because I moved my face away from the trough. Uh, it was full of cantaloupe, kiwi, strawberry, and um, boss pears. So good. I love having fruit already cut up in the fridge ready for me because then I don't, I'm not tempted to grab something else. And to be honest, if I didn't, if it was just me, I wouldn't even bring things that I should not be eating into the house. Cookies, cakes, chips, dip, all that stuff. But since I live with another human being who likes to bring those home, they're often around and I try to do my best not to eat them. So these strawberries were delicious. I ate, uh, we just had one kiwi, but it went a long way. We had this for dessert last night too. And I filled this whole container. I mean, it's big, big container. So yeah, and the trimmings from the fruit all went to the chickens this morning and they were so happy with it. Strawberry tops and um, all the rind from the melon, uh, from the cantaloupe, and Moses got some cantaloupe last night when I was cutting it. So, oh, you know what? I totally forgot 
to ask Polly what he wanted to have for dinner tonight. Maybe we'll have something simple. So I'm finishing up a project for Mother's Day. I was going to make one for my sister and one for my mom, one for my sister. But it's taking a little, a tiny bit longer than I had anticipated. So um, I can take reasonable breaks from work, but um, I can't take very long breaks. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I don't, I'm not seeing my sister until, oh no, I'm going to see her tomorrow, but Mother's Day is on Sunday. Oh, and that's what I need to remember to do. I'll call and leave a voicemail message for Eli asking him what he'd like to do tomorrow. I wonder if he wants to make a Mother's Day card for my sister. Maybe that's something we could do together tomorrow. So we'll see. I'm going to finish the rest of my fruit salad and um, go get some a drink. And the mom and dad are stopping by because they said they're in, uh, in the neighborhood to drop off the remaining two chairs. And I just picked up a green egg from the coop. So... Two brown and a green so far. I'm not sure whether they're going to lay any more because... Is it after three? No, it's not after three yet, is it? Uh, oh, it is. It's 3.05. So, yeah, they may not be any more, but we'll see. I always check before I close them up, and I have to go uh, refill their gallon water jug that I like to keep in the garage so to, fi to fill up their bottles. So... I'm gonna finish this and then go get the you know get that done outside, and um, maybe that'll coincide nicely with mom and dad pulling to the driveway so I can put the chair outside from their car. I'm done and about to do a video, so I've logged off of work. Uh, done for the day. It's about 5:30. I'm gonna do my Wild Record Crafts video and then uh, I'm gonna go do a little cleanup in the kitchen. Alrighty, that's done. Now I can put everything away. <sighs> yeah. Okay, I think I need a drink because I'm super thirsty. And that's my work computer powering down. So I'm going to take some pictures and uh, do a sneak peek on Facebook. If you don't already follow Wild Dragon Crafts on Facebook, you're missing out on the sneak peeks. So take a look. Link below. I'm catching the girls all asleep. The chicks. It's like a little pig pile. Yeah. Oh, they hear me. <sighs> oh, too funny. So before I um, log off for the night, I'm just going to give you a sneak peek of my China house party pack. That's it uh, for me for today. Don't forget to thumbs up. It's free for you and helps me out. And I will have a link to the video of all the stuff that's in my um, house party package in the description. Thanks for watching everyone. I will see you tomorrow Hopefully if the weather holds out, we'll go see the baby Animals at the first day of our outdoor farmers market. Thanks for watching everyone